What is going on guys? I'm Tyler Nolan. Welcome to the show. So, today, I got some new, look, I got a new setup. I'm not showing you the whole snake room yet. That's going to be its own video, okay? For now, I'm still working on this cage. I'm still working on this wall of cages right here. Um, this is on the south side of my room. As you can see, I stacked up these vision cages a little bit better. I got two new cages over from Tom. He gave me a couple of these other. These are... These are model 221 from Vision. Um, like I said in the video before, everybody always asks the cages that I use. Uh, I have a couple other cages from uh, one of my buddies that he made out of PVC, which are dope. But honestly, dude, nothing beats these Vision cages. These cages are built to last. Like some of these two footers, even a couple of these three footers over here. I've had some of these cages for like 15, 20 years since I was a kid working on underground. That's where I got them. They last forever. Made out of PVC, plastic, some something or other. They're awesome. Vented in the back. You just drill all my cages. You see what I did here? I just drill little heat light fixtures inside of them. Put, um, put thermostats. I, I use Zoomed thermostats on all my cages. Just throw a thermostat on there and make sure they don't get too hot. If the cages get too hot, it shuts off the electricity. They're awesome. Can't beat it. So I'm waiting on, I ordered more from Vision. I'll put the link to, at the description below. That way you can check out their site. They got badass cages. Um, they sell racks. They sell tools. They sell water bowls. They even sell the extra glass. If you, if you break the panes, which I've done a couple times, like this one right here is broken. It's been broken for, dude, I swear to God. I've had this thing broken for like 10. This duct tape's been on there for 10 years. I'm not even kidding. So I ordered new glass. Everything's getting all freshened up. I ordered a couple more of these cages. I'm going to get rid of... I built this little bottom part for the wall. But I'm honestly, I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to put it I'm gonna put it on the floor so it's right here. And I'm going to stack some more cages. Because all my baby stuff is getting bigger. And I have some new baby cobras on the way in the next, hopefully in the next week or two, I'll be getting them. I'm not going to tell you what they are yet. I'm really, really excited. They're super rare cobras. There's only a few people in the United States that even have them. Uh, and I'm going to be one of them. So stay tuned for that. I'm really stoked. I got a couple, got a couple really like cobras that I've wanted my whole life. I just, you know, as a kid, you're not able to afford them. But now we're doing pretty good. So. Today, let's move some little baby snakes around. That's the whole that's the whole point of this video. I'm upgrading all my little snakes. So, as you guys know, I keep a lot of my babies in these tubs at first. So, this is the safest way to keep a baby for the most part. There is yes, there is other things that you can keep baby snakes in, but this is my favorite. I like using Tupperware containers like this. They're sealed, they're really hard to open. There's, t I could drill tiny holes around them, okay? Much better, there's escape proof. I know that this animal is not getting out of here. They were little when I got them, now they're getting a little bit bigger. But, it's time for these baby puff adders to get new cages. I think I have a couple baby rattlesnakes that are also gonna get cages today. So let's, let's uh, do this real quick. So these puff adders, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up this cage today for them. I have two baby puffs. I'm going to put them in here together. Um, puff adders, a lot of snakes I don't really like keeping together because it's really hard to feed them together. So with cobras, like if I were to keep my monocles together, or when I do keep them together, when I go to feed them, it's very hard because... One cobra will grab the rat, the other cobra smells that cobra. They're very aggressive eaters. They're very active. They fly all over the place. 
They'll bite the same rat. They'll kill. They, they fight over food essentially. Puff adders, the boon vipers, eyelash vipers. Most of my viper day animals, they stay in one spot, grab their food, and eat it right there. Okay, so they're a lot easier to feed together because say I have one puff adder over here. As long as they're apart from each other inside of the cage, I can individually feed them and they'll be fine. Same thing with the Gila monsters. The Gila monsters I have together, yes, the big Gila monster will try to go grab the other Gila monster's food item, but if they're apart from each other in the cages, I can easily watch them and just regulate, make sure he eats her, she eats her food safely, he eats his food safely, everybody gets along. So, with that said, let's move these guys into the cage these guys out so these are Tanzanian puff adders it's the East African puff adder I got these from Mark McCarthy they're beautiful especially this one right here now be very careful when you come close to this little creature because it is these are strikers beautiful little guys they're crazy strikers. I'm surprised he hasn't struck at me yet. Really bad venom. Dude, bad, 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 bad. You do not want to get tagged by a little puff. This is honestly one of the things in my room that I definitely do not ever take any chances with because they are just fast little explosive springs like that. Now I've done a couple feeding videos of them where you won't even see them underneath the substrate. You just see the tip of their head and they just pop right out of the, they pop right out and grab that prey item, swallow it whole. Sick, look, this is a crazy little snake. The first puff adder I ever had, I was 18 years old when I got it. Um, we kept it at underground when I was working there as a kid. And then when I was finally 18, I was able to take him home. His name was Murderface. He was one of my favorite snakes I've ever had. Um, and then a long, 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 long time ago, something happened, and uh, he's no longer with us. But, dude, this is, look at how beautiful this little snake is. Puff adder, typical. You hear him huffing and puffing, and being crazy like that, always on edge. Sick little snakes, they're so fast. You see how fast that was? Crazy fast, bro. Like. I will never, ever, I saw uh, my buddy Seth on Instagram, uh, the Wild Hanbury, if you guys ain't following him, Seth, awesome. Seth posted a picture the other day, he has a little baby Tanzanian puff, holding it in his hand like this, a baby puff adder. Yo, I'm good on that, you won't ever see me doing that. They can be nice, but this one is definitely not nice at all, he's a little jerk for sure. Let's put you in your new cage. Now, you can see, you can see inside the cage, there's really not a whole lot for him to hide inside of there. Uh, I've kept hide boxes with them before. They don't really care too much about a hide box. I just keep some, just keep some, plant, keep some plants in there for them. All right, so even better. Screw a hide box. I'm gonna give him this little piece of cocoa bark. Where's your head at? Just gotta, gotta keep track of these little guys. They're fast and they're really hard to see. Especially keeping him in this aspen like this. That's why I like to keep him in this. It's just awesome for just contrast. The way the colors of them camouflage very well with this. So that's pretty cool. All right, so let me grab the other puff adder, show you what he looks like. He's a little on the darker side. All right, so this is the other one. Now, these came from the same clutch, so same mother. Same pair, also Tanzanian, but check out the colors on this. So now this one, instead of having those light tan colors, see this one's very hard to hook. The other one stayed on the hook pretty well. This one's not hooking very well. So this one you can see has more of a, I gotta be very careful, has more of like a, there's like almost a peach coloring on him see you could tell actually no this is a little female see how little that tail is check this out 
see how tiny that little tail is right there. The cloaca is right there. That's the tail. Very tiny little tail. Female. I didn't even check the other guy. Let's see. Let's, let's do side by side. Maybe this one's a female. I honestly don't remember. Okay, so this one. Check it out. So this one right here. You see the cloaca right here? See how it has a longer more slender tail that is a male so i didn't even know i had a pair or maybe i did before i just forgot but still yo the male is crazy see how much better tempered this female is she's chill she hasn't even really struck at me but this little male he's a little firecracker you're crazy dude go in your cage but yeah this little female Hasn't even struck at me, which is pretty cool. So maybe, I'm not even gonna, maybe I could, let me see. Mm -mm. Let me push my luck here real quick. All right, so this little guy, yeah, way darker, a little bit better temperament. This one's not trying to, not trying to do anything crazy. Look, I could tail it like this. I would never be able to do that with that male. That's a great little shot right there. These guys don't even have names. Maybe we can name them. There's a male and female. Puff adders. See what you guys come up with. Let's put you in your cage. Would you relax, bro? Putting your girlfriend in here, man. These guys are obviously way too little to even breed. They can easily live together just fine. Yeah, they look great together, look. Look at those little guys. These little monsters. Doing good. Got the cage all done. Got the labels on there. Looking good. All right. Bada bing, bada boom. Just throw the lock on this thing. Oh, another, another thing people ask. I'll put the link down below also. These locks, they're showcase locks I get on Amazon. They're like $7 each or $10 each, something like that. Inexpensive. They work great. They all have the same key. Because before, I had all these crazy locks. I had different locks over here, different locks over here. I had my keys color-coded with the locks. I had to match the color with the thing. Pain in the ass. Got rid of all my old locks. Got these new showcase locks. They all have the same key. Super freaking easy. Right. So that's the Puff Adders. All right, so now we're going to give my little Eastern. So this is a normal Eastern Diamondback that I have. This Crotalus Adamantius. I bought him, or I didn't buy him. I was given him by Jay Eaton, a good friend of mine. Owns the jungle, where I go for a bunch of my stuff also. My two main places are underground reptiles and the jungle, keep in mind, for my South Florida people. It's the two best places you can go to. So this little guy I got from Jay, he was confiscated by somebody, and he wasn't doing very well. So... Jay gave him to me because he was about to die. I, th I think it was a different, no, no, I, I was trying to feed it to my indigo snake because indigo snakes eat Easterns in the wild. So I was doing a video about indigos eating Easterns. Obviously that all failed. I ended up feeding it to one of my cobras instead. But anyways, long story short, I saved this guy. I don't think he has a name either. He needs a name because his life was saved. And he's in shed, he's in shed right now. You see the blue on his eyes? So he's in blue phase right now. So when snakes are regenerating their skin, they go through a few phases. So when they first start to shed, their skin gets very, on the lighter colored side, their eyes get cloudy like they are right now. You see they're in the blue. And then in maybe like a day or two, his eyes are gonna be completely clear again like nothing ever happens and then a couple days after that is when they're gonna actually shed their skin so there's a couple little processes with shedding I don't want to mess with this guy very much I don't want to irritate him I don't want to agitate him he's in shed he's a great mannered snake my other my other albino Easterns are psychopaths they will be they would be trying to kill me right now if I had him out but this guy is not oh Of course, as I say that, he jumps off the table 
at Kayla. Trying to trying to test us here. Dude, I just told you. I was just telling everybody how good of a snake you are. And now you gotta be a jerk. It's because he's in shed. Normally, when he's not in shed, he's not that bad. But now, he's being a little bit of a... He's just irritable. He can't see very well right now. All he sees is shadows. So he's very scared of everything. So I'm just gonna turn this light on in the cage. I'm gonna try to safely double hook him. Double hooking is definitely the best way to move a crazy little rattlesnake like this, okay? That way you can support both of his, you can support both ends of his body nicely. See, he has no idea what's going on. He's so, his vision is so skewed. So just like that. Now I'm going to safely close this cage. Like I said before, this cage has had venomous in it for 10 years, and it's had this duct tape on it. Totally fine. There's a piece of glass underneath here. I ordered new pieces from Vision. They will be here shortly. And then everything gets new glass. All right, so that's the Eastern. Got one more little rattlesnake to go. This one is also an awesome little rattlesnake. One of my favorites. So this is a Central American rattlesnake. Very cool. This little guy I got from Mark McCarthy also. Um, and this one is actually partially striped. So instead of having saddles like Easterns have, this one has a stripe going down the middle of it, which is pretty cool. All right, so before I take this little guy out, I'm gonna give him a little hide box. Turn on his light like that. Give him some water. Boom. Water bowl always on the other side of the heat light. Okay? Some of my cages, like the squam cage, which I'm going to get more squam soon and do a whole squam setup. I'm redoing the, both of these cages. My eyelash wiper, the yellow one, is going to get a bioactive setup very shortly. With these cages, I have 25 watt bulbs in them, and I like to keep the heat light on top of their water bowls. Reason being is they need higher humidity than a bunch of my other snakes. So having the heat light over, over top of their water bowl, more evaporation, more humidity, works great. These cages, not the case. I do not want it very humid in these. Oops. Kind of humid. I keep the humidity 50-60% in these guys, not 80 like these guys. 50 watt bulbs. Water bowl on the other side of the heat. So that way it's not a super humid tank. Even though Easterns and Central Americans need it on a little, they like they like it a little bit humid. Obviously Easterns are down here. Florida's pretty humid. So we try to replicate that. He is very cool. Yeah, these guys are just, they have very cool patterns. They're like this, see that? that straight stripe down it so cool like look at that stripe let me situate this better see that stripe that goes all the way down his body he's got look a couple little saddles saddle 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 one two three four little saddles and then the rest is a stripe now this guy's a little baby you can see his rattle is still really small this guy's maybe shoot i don't even know maybe eight months old something like that little tiny guy very cool little rattlesnakes with all that white on him super cool give you a new cage man look at that everybody's getting pimped out today great so I'm put these guys in there I'm gonna let them get acclimated for a couple days let this guy shit out feed everybody I got a new order I actually ordered a shipment of rats and fuzzies and all that good stuff and like three bags of chicks all that stuff will be here Wednesday and then hopefully the vision cages will be here soon too and then I'm gonna show you the rest of the snake room because the the indigo snake he's getting upgraded he's going into a four-foot vision 
A couple of these other snakes are getting moved around. I got more, I got right behind you, I got some new cages. I'm getting some new three footers over here. This whole snake room is getting completely redone. Getting rid of all the babies in these Tupperware containers. So everything is gonna have a nice big cage now. And then I'm just gonna wait for to get my other, my new baby cobras. And then everything, everything grows. So all, all my smaller snakes, I have to, I have to upgrade soon. Even the next upgrade move is gonna be upgrading my house because all the Aldabras and the water monitors and all the other things, everything is growing up. It needs more space. So I gotta save all my pennies. Get a bigger place soon. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys like the new cages. This new setup is gonna be sick. Waiting on new glass for these guys. I'm holding on, holding on to, uh, I'm just looking around. Hopefully I can find a female Waggler's Viper eventually for one of these visions. The other vision, I probably wanna put a Mangshan in. I've been looking for a baby Mangshan for forever. I just talked to my buddy Paul Miller about that the other day. Hopefully we find one this year. If Delta opens up and the, everything, everything closed right now. So it's really hard to find anything. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Thanks for being awesome. Hope you guys are almost done with this quarantine. I know we're gonna be open up really soon. Everything in Palm Beach County opened up today and I think my shop opens up next week. So stay tuned. Go click down below this video. I got Sunshine State tattoo shirts down there. I'm working on more merch right now. I've just been really busy and it's, it's a pain in the ass, honestly. I do this all myself, so. Later, guys. Till next time.